Ahoy and welcome aboard to another art video. Princess and I are jumping in here for a quick second to tell you that my thumb <laughs> looks really really gross and I forgot to put a band-aid over it. So please please ignore it. I'm sorry. Now onto the video. I'm finally continuing to add more members to, to Erena. And here is the new member. I briefly mentioned him in Javier's story, but I, I didn't have a name for him yet, so he was just known as the judge that he was scaring the shadow and like blackmailing. But here he is. You're gonna hear his story now. Please meet Judge Sean Arthur. O'Neill and I hope by the way his skeleton is standing you can see how much of a douchebag this guy was. Well not much so was he still kinda is but after Javier did what he did he sort of mellowed out a little. Let's get to know this d-bag. Sean is a 43 year old man whose father was an Irish man who migrated to California where he met Sean's mother. Now, they both came from rich families, so Sean grew up extremely spoiled and just added to that big old ego of his. His parents were actually very sweet people, but he just... he didn't turn out the same. Sean followed in the footsteps of his father in becoming a judge. He saw how greatly respected he was and he wanted a taste of that. He wanted to be seen as this man of great honor and just feed his ego. And here is where his and his father's reasoning for being a judge differ greatly apart from, you know, Sean wanting it for a status reason. His father became a judge to help those who are wrongfully accused of a crime they did not commit. His father truly wanted to overturn the corruption in the justice system. Whereas Sean, if you flash money, he will gladly turn a blind eye. Many of those who knew his father in the Los Angeles County where he and Javier work have expressed their deep disappointment in Sean and how he has decided to go down this shady path. But of course, there are people who do approve of his shady path. And those are the people he prefers to engage with. Javier, along with others, have reminded Sean from time and time again how disappointed his own father would be in him if he were still alive. Javier knew his father because before he joined the law, he would constantly get arrested. And the person who would sometimes arrest him was his best friend, not Sean's father, Javier's. That's just a little hint to who I'll be drawing next. Sean's father would just give Javier a slap on the wrist or at most a day in jail because he knew Javier's intentions were good, except he was doing them in a way the law did not approve. But that was the type of man Sean's father was. If he knew your your intentions were good and knew you didn't commit a crime or couldn't commit a crime, he would fight for you. But Sean took that beautiful image of his father and just tossed it out the window. Sean's mother refuses to speak to him at times because she is aware of the damage he is causing to his father's reputation and she feels the shame for him. Before most hearings, if they knew Sean's shady business, they would bribe him and of course, Sean would accept. Not sure why he needs more money if he comes from a rich family or families. Regardless, if he sees money, he wants it. And of course, as it should, it became an issue for Javier and others who wanted to fight a fair fight. They would present mountains upon mountains of evidence to incarcerate these criminals, yet Sean and his money <laughs> 
did not agree. As this went by, hearing after hearing, Javier grew tired of his bullshit. And that's how he became his first victim. Not only was Sean dishonest to his work, but to his wife as well. And Javier could take advantage of that. After Javier carved his first mask, and threw on his first outfit and broke into Sean's house after cutting the power, he knew this threat was not going to be enough. He was just gonna chuckle it off. He had to get more creative. He had to find that one weakness that would allow him to take control of Sean. So he followed him until he found that perfect thing he can use against Sean. And that was, he was having an affair. Javier began to take photos of the affair to blackmail Sean. The threats from this masked man to expose the truth to his wife were minimal until he continued to ignore them and they became more extreme. The photos were taped to the windows, taped to the mailbox, left inside the mailbox, left inside his house in hopes his wife would see. Javier was willing to keep the secret between the two of them, but Sean wouldn't listen. Sean had his suspicions to who the masked man could be, and among them was Javier. He and Javier had never seen eye to eye. Javier constantly called them out on his corruption. It was no secret to anybody how he felt about Sean. As the threats continued, Sean's suspicions towards Javier grew, but Javier is no idiot. When he knew that Sean was suspicious of him, he had a clever plan to throw him off his trail. If he was the masked man, how could he be in the same place twice? When he confronted Javier about the situation, he wasn't expecting the masked man to be watching them from a distance. This was the moment Javier saw the fear settle within him and knew he had him now. Now, do Edna hasn't been established yet? This is just Javier running around being a weirdo in the name of Mother Earth. I'm still working on the story so I haven't decided when do Edna gets established so hopefully by the next video I have an update for that. <laughs> Now that Javier is in his mind, he had control. He knew how to pressure him to do the right thing. Now, it wasn't guaranteed 100%. He still looked the other way most of the time, but he was making progress. People now had a chance to win. Honestly, when Du Edna is established and Javier exposes himself to Sean, he manages to convince him to join the cult and it didn't even take money or anything it's just that he had just blackmailed him for so long that Sean was a little bit afraid <laughs> of Javier and given that Javier does have a criminal record it just added to that fear remember kids always play by the rules or else a masked man is going to blackmail you well, that's all I have on Sean. I hope you've enjoyed this short video on his story. And now crew, it's time to see how he turned out. And here he is. I hope you enjoyed how he turned out because I certainly do. I just love how he looks. The stance, the folds in his clothes, the way he's looking at you. I just... I'm just very proud of the progress I've achieved in the last two years since I created Javier. And if you go back to watch his video, you'll see the difference. But as always, thank you for watching and I hope you remain on board to join me on this journey.